Hey everyone, my name is Yusuf and we are about to pick up a load of insulation going to a job site. I think it's a uh, it's a university, so we definitely need to call the uh, receiver and ask them for directions because uh, last time I had a pickup from a university, a, a load of turf, and I didn't call right away, so I had to uh, figure it out and waste time at that end. He's trying to print it or he's trying to find it in the system. So he asked me to come and uh, get loaded first and then he's going to get me my papers. Well, I need to, I don't know what you're getting. Sure. Uh, you want me to go ahead and ask him to talk to you? I'll go ahead and talk to Okay. You. So uh, basically I was, I was trying to check in for the past uh, 30 minutes or so, maybe like 45 minutes and the guy wasn't able to, uh, for so some reason they were not able to print out my BOL maybe their system was uh was off and he asked me to go ahead and get loaded first and as i'm loading and tarping and strapping they can work on printing out the uh bol but there's a miscommunication or a disconnect between the uh driver the forklift operator and uh, the guy in the office okay uh, you just gonna let me know you got you gonna let me know where to stop i don't know where Okie dokie, so this is my first time getting loaded at this place and uh, usually people assume that you've been to their uh, facility before so they start yelling at you when they tell you hey go ahead and pull in I'm like yeah I'm, I pull in but where do I stop you know sometimes you go further in and they start yelling at you hey you went too far or hey you're not far enough or something like that you know so it's okay this is just part of part of the business right <laughs> I think it looks like I will be getting loaded here and then leaving from this area. This is this is a uh, a big place. I've never been inside. I've never gotten loaded in a inside of a facility that you could drive through and maybe they even have a, like a a tarp station. Well, I mean steel places you could drive through them, but like insulations this is this is so big right, so they got a policy of uh, stay inside of your truck while getting loaded so that's uh, what we're doing it looks like there are small pallets there small uh, pallets of insulation here's the load luckily they only want the front side of the load to be covered so that's what we will do and uh, one thing I was gonna show you right here they have one pallet missing or they I guess that's only a thing that I'm getting just one I think like the 19 pallets or something like that so uh, but to tarp this I need to use this ladder for the harness where is that where is the harness I gotta find where the harness is maybe somewhere over there anyways I have to find the harness first and then put that on then Put that rope, climb on that ladder, da 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 da. You know the drill. Found the harness. This is where they keep them. I had to move from this bay to another, to this uh, one on the left hand side because um, this rope, or whatever you call it, it doesn't have the uh, canopy near, I think that's what they call it, canopy at the end. See, just, just a rope. But on this end, you have you have the the whole nine yard i guess so this is where uh, i'll be wearing the harness and then keep on working just gotta figure out which one is 
upside, which one is downside? Yeah, like this. I believe. I believe it's like this. What do you say? Good enough. All right, let's get working. We made it to the truck stop, and uh, I was thinking, as I was tarping, I was thinking to go ahead and top the entire thing. But then I was a little lazy about it because uh, I kind of feel better when when the load is entirely tarped than half tarped like this. But after I put my straps and everything, it, it looks semi-professional <laughs> so I didn't I didn't have an issue uh, with it so only thing that I didn't like about this uh, load was that uh, this load was missing a pallet or I mean this is how much they wanted I guess I think it's like 19 pallets instead of 20 pallets so if they had 20 skids or 20 bundles whatever you want to call these then we would have like, a full truck but now we have, we're missing one so uh, the X really didn't turn out to be an X. Maybe now you can look at it as an upside down Y. <laughs> but uh, I think it's still holding it. I wanted to add another strap there this away so it will hold that la that pallet over there. But then I th I thought maybe these two straps will hold it fine. And I'm about 20 miles away from the receiver. And uh, I wanted to tell you guys that the reason that I park my truck like this is because um, I don't want anybody park next to me that they, they will idle, idle their truck so the weather is nice I whenever whenever I can park straight then I will park because that way I don't have to run the truck and also I don't have to listen to anybody's uh, APU or their truck running but when you do that everyone else starts following you so this guy followed me too and but he has his truck running and like I don't mind people doing the same thing while I have no control over it anyways but when you do the same thing like you park your truck the same way I park but you still run your truck what's the point you know <laughs> just go ahead and park normal back into the uh, spot or back into the area and you face that way you do your noise I face this way I don't run my truck that way I can sleep better but uh, some people are either inconsiderate or they don't want to think or maybe they don't have brain one of those three one of the three <laughs> so whichever whichever comes uh whichever is, whichever is more logical or it could be all of the above so good morning made it to the delivery site uh, when i got here there were two trucks one it was here he was here and then there were there was another truck over there getting unloaded and so that guy pulled out and this guy pulled in and obviously after him i, I, I will pull in anyways when i was getting un, uh, loaded yesterday i called the receiver and just to ask them about the uh, directions and just to make sure that i am i know where exactly i am gonna going to be unloaded because uh, sometimes when it comes to the, the construction site it's it's hit or miss the address they have it on the BOL is usually like a generic address of the facility for this for this case it, it's just the main office of the university and not where the construction is going on and so I just wanted to make sure that I know exactly where I'm going but um, he was not answering and the voicemail was full so I couldn't leave a voicemail so I texted him he didn't respond then I called him again at 2 p.m. like two three hours later and no answer so i know because like this is a short haul i'm picking up today and dropping it off the next day i really need to talk to someone right away before the end of the day that way they know at least i'm coming because otherwise they would say oh you didn't call i, I was not able to connect with you so that doesn't count as giving them a heads up 
so i contacted the broker the broker didn't have an, an alternate number either so at 4 p.m the uh, gentleman calls i think it's one of these uh, guys and he says uh sorry i was busy or he was in an area where there was uh, no signal and he said i am assuming that the uh, map never made it to you and i said no uh basically he, he, they have made a map where everything that they are doing in the uh it was they made a map that shows the unloading locations for for the university for the construction site that they're doing and it's actually like a very uh a very precise map it shows on the google satellite exactly where you come through and where you where you pull in and where you wait and all that stuff so uh that was a big help because otherwise the address they gave me was like somewhere in over there where there are just a lot of parking lots and cars and all that stuff but um here is just an an off side like a road on, on the side and they have a small parking lot where they're using to to get all their all, all their materials anyways i'm getting a call i got a good news and a bad news the bad news is that their forklift broke down and they had to push the uh, insulation off of the truck in front of me and he doesn't, he doesn't want to do the same thing on my load because like this is i don't know it's not a professional and when you push it off the truck it may it may damage the insulation so he came and talked to me and he said uh i did it to the truck in front of you i pushed the um, insulations but i really do not want to do the same for every truck because eventually maybe his boss will get mad so he said there is another um telehandler like in the university somewhere over there so they are going to get that uh here so they might have to drive on the main road and to get it here but hopefully they'll be here very soon because i'd like to get unloaded and get on my way that was the uh, telehandler that broke down and the newer one is uh is white and it's working currently it is still old so if you look at the telehandler obviously you could tell that is at least 20 years old right but uh, the newer one or the alternate one is seems to be in a good condition you know i guess this will do it for this video say so thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye